Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week we got scammed by boot camps, learned about the top paid developer jobs in the world, and how to network properly. In this video I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. And if this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Prettier 2.4 was released and React Router 5.3. On to the VS Code extension of the week, most people use Postman when testing their REST APIs. But why install another application when you can do everything from inside VS Code? The Thunder Client extension is a lightweight REST API client for VS Code. With it, you can quickly test your API endpoints. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. Are you thinking about joining a coding bootcamp? Make sure that you watch this video from Cody Engel before you decide so that you don't get scammed. There is absolutely nothing wrong with coding boot camps, but they are not all the same. So be sure to do your research and use these tips from Cody to make a good choice. Next up, Engineering with Utsev gives us his opinion on the best programming languages to learn in 2021 and some you should avoid. In this video from RTC, she'll show you the top five perfect web developer projects for beginners. Be sure to go check this one out. Do you want a breakdown of the top paid developer jobs in the world? Make sure that you go check out this video from Callie Halden. Next up from Bucky at The New Boston, he starts a new tutorial series about creating Discord bots with Python. And you have to go check out this short from Jessica at Coder Coder. She explains front end and back end with a very simple and easy to understand example. Next up, Mayuko talks about the biggest networking opportunities that you're missing out on. I'm sorry to say that most of you are probably using email and DMs wrong. So go check out this video for some great advice. And next we have a nine hour React.js complete full course for beginners from Dave Gray. This course teaches modern React with functional components and hooks, and it has chapter markers to make it easy to go through the course in small sections. If you're learning React, go check it out. In this next video from Philip, you'll learn how to implement smooth scrolling without JavaScript and only one line of CSS. If you missed my VS Code update video, go check it out. There were several great improvements with version 1.6. In this next video from Jack Harrington, he uses the SolidJS framework and GraphQL to create a to-do app using queries, mutations, and subscriptions. And then at the end, he changes it into a chat app. Flutter 2.5 came with lots of new updates. In this video from Tadas Petra, he breaks down everything new in just six minutes. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was Understanding Next.js Data Fetching. It covers CSR, SSR, SSG, and ISR, not to be confused with IRS. For podcasts, go check out the latest Code Newbie episode where they talk to Christine Fletcher about transitioning into development after over a decade in your field. On Instagram, go check out this carousel from programmer.nest for some easy to understand Flexbox examples. And on TikTok, go check out Sensation for some developer humor. Again, there's more info in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.